I've seen him do unbelievable things. And there is a dynamism in countries. And there's this great uh, memoir by Robert Kwok, K-U-O-K, who's uh, the Malaysian sugar king. He owns the Shangri-La hotels, uh, various other businesses across Asia. He's now 94. And it's a fascinating book. It's sold out in two days, first printing. And he's saying that the greatest entrepreneurs in the world come from South China. And all the ones who've made the most money in Hong Kong all come from there. None of them, none of them went to college. None of them went to school. And they just have this phenomenal talent for entrepreneurial. And they work hard. And they're smart. And so I can't say that about the entire Chinese people. But there is a phenomenal energy there. And when you unleash 1.3 billion people who've been suppressed economically for a thousand years, whatever it is, it's, it's just when you have this, this incredible tsunami of excitement and energy. And you go to Shanghai, there are 145,000 companies that are registered to do business. Some of the biggest companies in the world. Why? Why? Because they see the potential, they see the energy. And what you have in, in what's called uh, the Big Bay, which used to be the Pearl River Delta, which comprises Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Shun, uh, Shanghai, is you have the logistical manufacturing capital of the world. And nobody can equal it. Silicon Valley has innovation, but it doesn't have logistics or manufacturing. So you take that, if you have innovation, and you add to it uh, logistics and, and shipping, you have a huge advantage. So also in Shanghai, the Chinese government is building thousands and thousands of subsidized apartments. And they're telling entrepreneurs from all over China, come and innovate, start a business, not come and get a job, come and create.